okay guys so till now you have understand the concept behind by excel stress and in the last video we have discussed a lot to find out the normal stress as well as our shear stress okay so in this video i will talk about the strain okay strain due to this biaxial stress system okay so let me first clear this canvas okay so in case you need a recap that the strain we have discussed in the very earlier videos that if it is a bar and you are applying some load tensile load like this what will be the effect simply it will get elongated like this okay this is the elongated shape due to this tensile load okay and if the initial load sorry initial length was l and now the increment in length is delta l okay delta by 2 and delta by 2 in both side okay so what is the strain the strain is simply delta divided by l okay so this is the strain and what is the another effect can you see from this picture yes the first effect is that the l is increased okay and here you can see that the width okay initially the thickness was this much okay let's say it was initially d and now the thickness is only this much okay so there is some decrement okay so what is this this is the effect of this longitudinal strain okay and there is some relation between this uh, contraction between this contraction lateral contraction okay lateral contraction and in between this longitudinal strain okay and this ratio is known as yes you are correct poison's ratio so you need lateral contraction okay divided by your longitudinal strain okay is known as your poisons ratio okay now what is this unit lateral contraction simply initially let's say your width was d okay initially it was d now after application of the load it has become let's say uh, d dashed and d dash is equals with d minus let's say uh, we have a change of your delta d okay so this unit lateral contraction is delta d by original d this is actually your unit lateral contraction and what is this strain the strain is simply it was the increment in length divided by original length so if we put that under this one that is delta by l and this equates with your poison's ratio okay and what is the application of this simply if you have a case like this where you are applying your load p definitely in this direction you have a strain that is epsilon okay let's say epsilon l longitudinal strain and what about the transverse strain in this direction that is epsilon let's say t this is equals with mu times epsilon l okay this is epsilon t 
and epsilon t is simply mu times delta by l or mu times epsilon l this one and one more thing here you can see this when you are applying this force tensile force epsilon l is always positive because the length is increased but the contraction or the diameter is contracted so always et is negative clear so et when you are expressing et in terms of el you have to use mu along with minus okay i am discussing this one because when i will discuss about biaxial stress or the effect of biaxial stress especially the strain effect there i will use this formula okay this poison effect so let's start again with the biaxial cases so we have an element like this this is under the action of biaxial stress okay so along the x direction this is sigma x this is sigma x and along the y direction this is sigma y this is sigma y okay so first we will consider only sigma x okay so consider first sigma x only what is the strain effect okay so you are applying only sigma x and sigma x okay so due to this tensile stress you have a strain in this direction agree so what is that that strain let's say epsilon x is simply stress by strain sorry uh, modulus of elasticity okay and now let's say we have a uh, case 2 that is this one now we have sigma y okay sigma y so due to sigma y we have a strain in this direction agree so what is that epsilon y that is simply stress divided by modulus of elasticity now what is the effect of this stress okay first consider sigma x due to this tensile stress there is a contraction okay clear along the x axis it will elongate but along this y it has contracted okay and that is equal with minus sign mu times sigma sorry or uh, in this direction it has contracted so it is sigma y epsilon y okay so we are considering epsilon y okay the effect of sigma x is coming here that is minus mu times sigma x by e clear so why because when you are applying your sigma x in this direction along x of course it has some tensile effect it will stretch this along x okay that's why along x it has a positive strain but along this y direction it has contracted so it has a negative effect due to sigma x okay just like that here due to this sigma x definitely it will elongate along sigma sorry due to sigma y it will elongate along y axis 
okay that's why it has a positive effect sigma y okay but what about this one along x axis it has contracted so it has a negative effect that is mu times sigma y by modulus of elasticity clear so due to this biaxial stress system you have got the strain effect okay first one is our strain along x axis and second is strain along y axis and i think you have understood the basic of this formula why this is so okay